Good morning. This is Terry Couty, Founder and Director of Deep Sea Foundation, and I'm sitting with Dr. Minas Krasopolo today with PRMA in San Antonio. Dr. Krasopolo and I both have a very favorite topic that we like to discuss, and it's shared decision making. But today, I want the viewers to know about a tool that helps you in the shared decision making process that was developed by Dr. C, as his patients call him, and it's called the Breast Advocate app. I'm gonna let him take over. I like to tell other women about it, other men about it, doctors, nurses, I've shared this, so you tell us about the app. Shared decision making in your hand. Yes, right. in the so, palm of your hand. So, um, I've been treating uh, patients uh, who were diagnosed with breast cancer or were at high risk for breast cancer. I've been treating them for many, many years. And it got to the point where I uh, got tired of hearing the same thing from them, the same complaint, which was, had I known about whatever, fill in the gap, I would have done something different. So, uh, and then looking out there, um, there really wasn't a good option in terms of a tool, a decision aid to help people get to the place they needed to be, to find out really what was best for them that took their preferences and situation and values into account. And that's what shared decision making is. So you can easily go online and, and, and find the options for based on your diagnosis, the different types of treatments, different mastectomies, different reconstruction. Uh, you can find all that online, uh, but you, you, th there isn't much out there that really guides you through the process of determining what's best for you, and that's what Breast Advocate does. So it's not just for breast reconstruction. Um, I was very, very lucky to get some excellent people involved, um, you being one of them. Uh, yeah, so, thank you. So, no, no, thank you. Yeah. Um, so you remember all the patient advocates we had involved mm -hmm. um, on the advisory board in terms of the content um, and all the surgeons from different specialties uh, too. So mm -hmm. uh, we have lumpectomy covered, oncoplastic surgery, which is reconstruction at the same time as your lumpectomy with or without a symmetry procedure on the other side. Uh, going flat uh, for women that uh, prefer not to have reconstruction, but that's often an option that's not even on the table uh, for people that's discussed. And then, of course, all the options for breast reconstruction. Lymphedema uh, is in the app. <coughs> male breast and male, cancer. And male breast cancer. Mm -hmm. um, prophylactic surgery or risk reducing surgery, which is a better way of. of, of talking about it um, <clears throat> we have a wizard yes. function that really is the core feature it's the unique feature of the app mm -hmm. that asks a few questions um, that's uh, the personalization part exactly it asks a few questions and then based on the user's answers the wizard gives recommendations a list of recommendations sometimes it's you know, it can be several, sometimes it's only one, depending on the situation, it's usually a few. Um, and those recommendations are the combination or the marriage of the patient's preferences and what the evidence says. So evidence-based, it's evidence-based medicine combined with the patient's um, preferences to provide recommendations that then they can take to their doctors and discuss. So this is not specific to our practice, although we obviously use it. We send a link for people to download it uh, before they come in for the consultation. And that really saves uh, a lot of time. It gives them the opportunity to go through all their options uh, at their pace, they're not rushed, and they're armed with the right questions yes. before they even come to the consultation. Um, so a lot of doctors are using it in that way. A lot of nurse navigators at breast centers like it because it helps them work out what the patient should be asking. And um, so um, it, it, it's going down really well. Uh, we just launched version two not too long ago. 
um, and we have a, also a, a, a blossoming community within the, within the app too, which is kind of fun to, to right. watch. Um, I so think from my perspective, um, you know, as, as, as a lifelong educator, the important thing from my standpoint, being able to personalize it, mm -hmm. you know, on the wizard is important. Uh, but it's, it's, again, that vocabulary that we need to make the conversation or to, to have the, conver the shared decision-making conversation. Sometimes you don't know what words to use, what terminology to use. It's all evidence-based. And the thing I like, too, is even after you have whatever surgical option you have chosen, uh, including your breast cancer care, it's all right there for you to reference mm -hmm. as you're going through the healing process, the recovery. Um, so I like to tell other patients about it and, and, and other healthcare providers. So thank you very much. I good app. It. Yeah. Check it out. Breastadvocateapp.com. And I was just thinking since my phone, ugh, sorry for the visual there. Uh, since my phone is sitting here, it's, there's the it looks pink on that screen. it does look pink but yeah, and then the pink. wizard pops up but yeah uh it's not it's not That's pink yeah. odd color on this but we specifically did not choose pink we avoided pink thank you <laughs> yeah thank you sometimes we yeah. get over pinked yeah android and iphone and ipad and ipad and we're working on desktop yep check yep. it out breastadvocateapp.com thanks for joining us today thank you. absolutely